Did you hear Farrakhan's speech? He said, if we don't get what we want from the Ferguson protests, we're going to burn this goddamn country down. That's his words, not my words. I'm your host, the doctor of common sense, E.T. Williams. Please visit the website at www.whateverhappentocommonsense.com. Louis Farrakhan was speaking down at Morgan State University. It's an all-black college. And he says that the uh, demonstrators down in Ferguson uh, were in their rightful minds to literally protest and uh, use violence. He says, uh, if the protesters' demands are not met, we'll tear this goddamn country apart. This is Louis Farrakhan saying this. Now, I think he said they were looking for justice, but I didn't hear him quote any damn facts on where the justice is going to come from. Let me just say quickly, Minister Louis Farrakhan, you're from Chicago, is that correct? Jesse Jackson is from Chicago. Oprah Winfrey is from Chicago. Why did y'all threaten to tear the goddamn country up with all those 500 murders that happened down in Chicago? Ask any Negro who has left the neighborhood or who's living in the neighborhood, who do they feel more that may kill them? Another Negro in the neighborhood or the white police officers? Are you freaking kidding me with this phony outrage? As if all the problems in the black neighborhood, if it wasn't for white folks, blacks wouldn't have no problem. Are you freaking kidding me? We can leave this whole damn country to blacks. They'll tear this damn thing up so fast it'll make your head spin. Go look at Africa. Okay, you say that the reason that we're having all these problems is because we can get rid of the white devil, right? Is the white devil living in a rat? The white devil looking, living in Iran? How about Turkey? How about Afghanistan? How about Libya? Why in the hell is all these other countries are getting a handout from the white devil United States? We got to send these SOBs money, but the white devils are the one destroying the whole damn world. I find it laughable at Farrakhan the whole speech because he always starts his speech out and he want to quote the Bible, use it out of context, and everybody gets fired up. I want y'all to back up off of you getting fired up. I'm going to tell you a couple of things about Minister Farrakhan going to make you just pipe it on down a little bit, pump the brakes a little bit. Now, he uh, threw Jesse Jackson under the boat, under the bus, which I don't give a damn by Jesse Jackson as his fellow brother from Chicago. He says that that these young youth today, he was saying mostly young black youth, they don't want no punk as no leader. Well, I got a problem with a couple of things with that because in 2008, now um, maybe it's my memory not serving me wrong or right, uh, but in 2008, wasn't it Louis Farrakhan who called Barack Obama the Messiah? He says when Obama talks, the Messiah is absolutely speaking. Now he says Barack Obama is from the devil because his mama was white. You knew his mama was white when you called him the Messiah in 2008, Minister Louis Farrakhan. Now, all you people following Farrakhan, he comes out with all these false predictions. Uh, what's the, the the black guy used to be in the Nation of Islam? Not Malcolm X. We know they had some dude with him getting killed. They said he was going to be dead for a while. Farrakhan was wrong about that. He's been wrong about seven issue, several issues, but as soon as another black stands up and disagrees with him, he wants to execute him. Now, just look at this evidence. He said about Barack Obama back in 2008. Now, they tried to take the video down, but it's still up in some places. He said emphatically, you are the instruments that God is going to use to bring about universal change. And that is why Barack Obama has captured the youth. And he has involved young people in a political process that they don't care anything about. That's a sign when the Messiah speaks, the youth will hear. And the Messiah is absolutely speaking. Speaking about Barack Obama, he says, brothers and sisters, I don't know what this world is coming to. He says, brothers and sisters, Barack Obama to me is a herd of the Messiah. Now, first of all, what is Farrakhan uh, using a Messianic Jew term like Messiah? I know he hates the Jews. Why is he using this term, the Messiah? 
He called Barack Obama a messiah. Now Barack Obama is the devil. Now, if he could be that wrong about a fraud like Barack Obama, Barack Obama could never fool me. He didn't fool me in 2008, 2007. Frauds like Barack Obama cannot fool me. He was a sissy in 2008, Farrakhan, when you called him the messiah. Now, all of a sudden, you got the messiah in charge. Now, you want to throw the messiah under the boat. I don't care about you running over the Messiah. My problem is that you said we need to burn this goddamn country, tear this goddamn country apart when you had Herod, Barack Obama as being the Messiah. And if you're wrong about Barack Obama being the Messiah, you're probably wrong about this issue too because what are the facts of the case? Stop talking to me about some, uh, 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 some slavery of the civil rights movement. 2014, could you just fast forward to the future right now? What is destroying black neighborhoods? Oh, I thought so. Black on black crime, 93%. You from Chicago. Why did you say you're going to burn down Chicago if these Negroes don't stop killing each other in Chicago? You didn't do that because all of this is is a rape baiting tactic to the ignorant of the masses of ignorance going around in black communities and guilty white communities and Latino communities. Farrakhan uses this speech his fiery speeches to get you not to think. Now, I want you to ask anybody from the Nation of Islam or Louis Farrakhan, why in the hell did he call Barack Obama the Messiah? Now, all of a sudden, Barack Obama is the devil. He said Barack Obama has come from around the curtain. He said Eric Holder has come from around the curtain. He said the Negroes ran Jesse Jackson out of uh, Ferguson, which they did. But you was praising Barack Obama at first. Now you find out he's a frog. Now you didn't jump ship. So you was wrong about Barack Obama. What else could you possibly be wrong about? He says that we are looking for justice. He said we didn't get an indictment, the justice that we were looking for. Not that the evidence would, would warrant an indictment. What are they asking for? He says until the people down there get justice or, 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 or when the protesters get their demands heard. What are their demands? Oh, we need to lynch a cracker. Do this not remind you? of the civil rights movement when the KKK used to go get a black man and lynch them to try to pin a crime on him. You remember Emmett Till? When the white man uh, uh, and the white uh, lynch mob hung that young man because they say he whistled at a white woman? This is the same crowd. It's just the black crowd doing it now. Racism is always bad no matter what side it's on. That's why you should call racism racism. That's why you shouldn't try to justify your tradition if it's better than racism. Farrakhan was race baiting in full effect while he was at, quote, the university, Morgan State University. And he declared, we'll tear this goddamn country apart until the Ferguson protesters get what they want. And that's a pound of white flesh. We don't give a damn what the facts are. We're not interested in the facts. We're like the black KKK. I guess we're the BBB. We want our pound of flesh. So in other words, he's saying that if it wasn't for whitey, everything would be fine and dandy. Well, ain't nothing but blacks running black neighborhoods. Ain't that fine? What about Africa? Oh, the white government ran it. I thought they took over that. Why is Farrakhan and the rest of these black leaders not upset with Boko Haram, who's kidnapping little black girls, selling them into slavery? But it's all the white men. Afghanistan, Iraq, Turkey, uh, Morocco. Why we keep seeing all these, quote, brown or black countries being run in the ground by brown or black people, nobody says anything but it's the white devil. Notice their doctrine, if you understand their doctrine, they think that uh, whites was some kind of experiment in a laboratory. See, this is the problem What I tell people. When you let people get you to the point that you're hating a person, it makes you be irrational. It makes you do stupid things. Back in the 20s, during the Renaissance, a lot of the blacks joined the Communist Party, which is the same thing they're doing down. Ferguson, Ferguson is replaying itself. Go look at some of the Renaissance with some of those writers down there. Langston Hughes and all those guys. Joined the Communist Party. They were literally on the Communist side because they were so uh, oppressed by the whites. They said, I will go join anything. So they went and joined another devilish organization. From one devilish organization to another. It is fascinating when I see people thinking they're speaking the truth when they get these calls, so-called great causes. You know, a bunch of protesters and thought they had great causes before. On the side of the devil, use it. Because hate always spirit out devilish mentality. This lynch mob you have down in Ferguson ain't looking for justice. Because if we was looking for justice, 
Minister Farrakhan, if you wanted to burn a goddamn country or tear it apart, why didn't you do that in Chicago? You, Jesse, and Oprah, all are from Chicago, and including the President of the United States, are from Chicago. And he put his boy Emmanuel in there as the mayor of Chicago. Y'all got tough gun laws, and y'all killing more people than ever. Why did anybody uh, threaten to burn down Chicago? All the damn crime rate going on out there. Here we have this uh, so-called minister who preaches nothing but hate, hate the Jews, hate whitey, and the black community is starving to death. I guarantee you Louis Farrakhan would full, feel safer uh, in, uh, if he had two white officers in an alley or two, excuse me, two white thugs in an alley. This is funny. When I talk to black people who made it out of the ghetto, or I talk to black people who are still in the ghetto or in the hood, put it like that. I said, which one you fear more? The white officer's going to shoot you or you walking down the street. The white officer's going to shoot you or you walking down the street. One of these Negroes down here on the corner going to jack you. Come rolling in the hood looking bling not too clean if you want to. Negroes will jack you at grandma or mama's house. Been knowing you all your life. Will set you up to be jacked. I find it laughable that everybody act like they're so outraged about this. I know a case off the top of my head, not going to call any names. About 18 or so years ago, a little black girl was killed by a drug dealer in the neighborhood. He was mad at his girlfriend, so he went, shot the car up, killed the little, he didn't know the little girl was inside the car, killed the little girl. I didn't see no black protesting. I didn't see none of these so-called race baiters protesting. I can think about all the blacks I know who've been killed. I don't know not one of them who've been killed by a white officer. I know plenty of them been killed by other Negroes. That's what they do. But Louis Farrakhan and the Ferguson crowd want you to believe that all of a sudden, if all we could just stop all this oppression of these white police officers, we will burn this damn place down if you don't give us what I want. We won't. And what it is that you want? Oh, you want us to turn uh, 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 Darren Wilson over to you so you can hang a cracker, right? That'll make you feel better. I guarantee that's going to make your neighborhoods better. If we just can lynch Darren Wilson, all the black crime, all the black violence, all the teenage pregnancy, all the people in the neighborhoods tearing up their own damn neighborhoods will go away if we just can lynch us a couple of crackers, right? This is sheer insanity. When people listen to Louis Farrakhan and the rest of these people like the Jesse Jackson and the Al Sharptons, all we hear is these people talking about how it's somebody else's fault when you are effing up your own neighborhood. Please address the part to me. Why is all this black crime, 93% of all blacks are killed or killed by black? I don't hear nobody protesting that. Won't you ask for justice for all those black families who've been killed? Or black people been killed in the neighborhood by blacks? If black lives matter. So black lives only matter if a white officer killing. But black lives don't matter when other blacks kill. You can't tell me nothing about this crap. Ain't talking about nobody else told me. I know niggas who got killed by other niggas. And it happens all the time. I can go to the hood tonight and ask, hey, Jeff, who just got killed in the hood in the last week or so? Who you know about? They'll start rattling off names. Get the hell out of here with that crap to me. Thrill is gone for me.